All right, welcome to yet another IUPUI Counter-Strike Collegiate match this time. Face a Collegiate Spring 2023 IUPUI versus Michigan, and specifically the University of Michigan. Both teams 3-2 and two coming into this game in the Swiss system. Um, both teams, I mean, likely coming off losses as well. So, unless Michigan beat WMU last week. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Michigan actually coming off a win then. They were 2-2. and. They were two and two, huh? They must have had a tough schedule. All right. Well, thankfully for this broadcast, we have uh, Jack XCD on, who has just played a Michigan in a best of three that went three maps. Am I correct? Yep. So I'll let you uh, discuss the the team as a whole and possible maps starting uh, now. Yeah. So the team, um, they're uh, they definitely practice a lot. They play both in Nace and in this. They play a lot of games together. They are coordinated. They um, they don't really run anything too fancy though. It's pretty by the book kind of stuff. Um, so regarding maps, uh, they permaban Vertigo. Uh, we don't play Vertigo at WMU. Uh, like we don't pick into it. So they insta ban that. Like they didn't need research yeah, that yeah, anything. I see what you're they saying. Yeah. Um, we banned uh, Nuke. They picked. Inferno, which will get banned here. So we know Inferno will get banned. We know Vertigo will get banned. Um, they're willing to play Overpass and Mirage. We picked in the Mirage. Overpass was map three. But the way I see it going is I see them picking either Mirage or Overpass. Um, I see IEPQI picking Ancient because they I they know that Michigan will play Mirage and let Mirage go to map three. Um, Michigan has played Nuke. But I don't. They didn't pick into Nuke in that game, so um, unless IPLI wants to try something, I don't think Nuke will get played. I don't think Anubis will get played. I think IPLI feels most comfortable in Ancient. So I see the maps being Overpass, Ancient Mirage, um, unless Michigan picks Mirage. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> that's a pretty similar story than to pretty much almost every game we've kind of watched for this team. It really doesn't seem like IEPUI has run into a true punish pick yet, which would be the nuke, I think. I think if you wanted to pick punish pick IEPUI in the most extreme way possible, it would be nuke. And uh, what, what did we see out of Davenport? Did we see the overpass pick out of Davenport? So da even yeah. Davenport didn't abuse the nuke like they could have. Um, so uh, that that's definitely an area. I think I think Anubis is another map where you could potentially punish IEPUI, but I think Anubis is... A, is it's not explored enough at a, especially at a mid level yet, to where like, not knowing like some kind of like, you know, CT default or T side default is gonna is gonna cause you to just lose a game. Whereas like, if you go into like a modern overpass with like a 2014 mindset and your condor is getting blown open and you're getting molly playground and you're getting, you know, flashed into monster through a smoke and you're getting double phase monster. Like, there's so much meta involvement on like older maps that I don't think exists on Anubis yet, such that even if IEPI doesn't have a whole lot of experience on that map, it's just like, it's never going to be a true punish pick. Um, unless you're big clan, you're throwing one-way smokes from the canal into uh, B and you're lurking through them. But that is not either of these teams. So 20 seconds here, we'll have some uh, team selection and then map selection. I, I know um, Chris Cross, I know I've broadcasted one of his games before, and I think... I don't want to. I, I don't think the IUPUI varsity team has ever played against Michigan's varsity team. So I think Chris Cross used to be on Michigan's JV team. Um, and I think an old IUPUI JV roster played against Michigan at, at, at some point. That would that's my thought. Or maybe he played for like a different college. I know I've seen Chris Cross, and yeah. he had like may, maybe we played him on ESEA actually. I don't know. I've seen him around. Um, but as far as the rest of the team, I don't. I think I've also seen a Weege pugging. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think I've run into a Weezing Pugs before, level ten Pugs, but I don't think I have any familiarity with the rest of their squad. And um, with the new face it update, you literally can't even see Elo because I don't know why they've done this. Somebody with graphic design as their passion decided that less is more. I guess. Very unlucky. Yeah, I agree. Hopefully, this time both uh, teams will have the same time zone booked on their schedule. Nobody <laughs> is uh, in Arizona at this point. Oh, somebody's AFK. Okay. Oh, 
huh. It'll be really fun if we had more tech issues on this next stream, two streams in a row. This time on a uh, work night, not a uh, not a weekend. I'll keep an eye out for any uh, DMs from either any anyone on the IUPI team for updates, but at this point I'll just assume it's somebody stalling for somebody to get home from class or work or something on one side or the other. It might be Chris. Uh, I mean, Chris is... Not in the call. Not in the call. So, I mean, you might be right. He was... He did have class. Um, and had to... At, like, five. And he said... He was talking about how he hoped he would get out of class early so he could get home. So, he might be... Yeah. And as you see, IEPY has turned the vote. So, they are stalling. So, they have yeah. time well, to Well, and in any circumstance, this is not... Uh... A, a late night face it tournament so you have a full 15 minutes to stall if you want to yeah, unfortunately so. for the uh, University of Michigan the Wolverines hoping to have a better performance than their basketball team did in the NIT yeah a hockey team though made the attorney Sort of Western Michigan's hockey team. <laughs> well, you'd hope so. If Western Michigan. How, how many times has Western Michigan's hockey team not made the tournament? A like, lot since you've been there. Really? Okay, that surprises well, me. Well, since I've been here, um, they've made it twice, and that's back to back years. Okay, okay. Last year, uh, they won one game, so it's sixteen teams for right, hockey. Right. Yeah. Um, two wins get you in the final four. Uh, we won one game yesterday or last year. That was the farthest our team has ever made in the tournament. Okay, okay. We have consistently decent hockey teams, but we don't get over the hump. So now we're starting to get over the hump a little more. And COVID, COVID kind of wrecked this one year. So we had a good team that year that could have been. Yeah, I, re I relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are definitely on the stalling for CMX boat right now. They seem to, I mean, they didn't sub anybody out, so they're pretty convinced he's going to get here, but we're just going to have to wait out Avito much longer than expected, so I guess grab your popcorn, because we're going to be sitting here a while. Why don't you uh, tell us uh, how tomorrow with Source 2 coming out is going to play out uh, in your head um, for the audience? Well, I'll get home from work, and by get home, I will stop working at home because I'll be working from home tomorrow. I will immediately probably um, stall time by making food. Maybe if I'm tired, take a nap to stall even more time. But set an alarm no later than 6 p.m. CSGO will start um, kind of deviously tweeting probably around 1 p.m. Eastern time. They will post even more office gifts and they will make fun of Flom TV and they will make fun of uh, Don Hachi on Twitter. And then, you know... Around 3 o'clock, they might tweet something like the number 2 or something else cheeky, you know. And then mm -hmm. at, you know, roughly 6 to 8 p.m. in that time window, they will drop the Source 2 update as a beta that you have to uh, intentionally open uh, the betas within Steam to access. So it'll be a separate branch of the game. Uh, I mean, a lot of the reporting done by Richard Lewis and by some other data miners have strongly suggested that this will be a simultaneous rebrand to a new Counter-Strike brand, less centered around Global Offensive and more centered around the, like, this is the second Counter-Strike. So, um, I know the fans are going to want to know at home, how will your desk survive the pelvic thrusting that you will do in Source 2? I don't, I'm not sure it will. I'm just not sure it will. I mean, I've tightened the bolts ever since the report came out of tightened the bolts. You got it ready. But, um... I'm just not, you never know, you know. I mean, at least it's not glass, so if, if a glass desk shattered like that, I, I mean, my, my life could be at stake. But it's just okay. a nice wooden desk, so I'm not really concerned for my own safety. Um, Congrats, by the way. Uh, top 50, Furry Smash. Yeah, Huge. top 50 rivals of either gamer. Um, I think this year I'll probably be within 30 and 40. Uh, last year I was 40, so it should be um, up a bit. People have leaked the picture 
that well, you have. I'm using the same picture I did last year, so those leaks are false. I, I hate to break it to you. But I feel like you're letting fans down by doing that. But then they can be let down all they want. I'm not. That is not. That is not. That's not a good idea. Do you know how, like, how much of the people in the Rivals community will respect you? And, like, I mean, they'd probably think it's funny, but at the same time, like, I show my family that stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's never too late. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> I've already sent it in. <laughs> I told him to just use the same picture I did last year. It's the one so with, the, with the glasses, right? No, it's just me at the uh it's just me at Indianapolis Motor Speedway with my dad, but my dad is cropped out. Not even the not even the suit one? No, dude, that picture is that picture is from like my sophomore year of college. That's like that's like five or six years old at this point. I mean I You mean, mean high like, school? No, it's from college. Five to six years ago? I mean I graduated in twenty twenty one. So it's been two years since my graduation. Damn. You're old. Yeah. Congrats on being old. It's not a good thing, unfortunately. Well, okay, there's, there's the Inferno band. These were both expected. Inferno and Vertigo band. Yeah. We won't know what Michigan Maze picks, but my inkling is Mirage or Overpass. I feel like everyone plays Mirage, so it just isn't optimal to pick Mirage. I don't know. Yeah. Well, if you know if you it's know both you and your opponent play. plays a map, it's never optimal to pick it. Yeah, exactly. So. so, although I mean, to be honest, if you looked at the past series and you didn't actually take the deep dive to see who picked who, which is unlikely, if you're if you're doing a deep dive, you're probably checking that. But if you didn't, you might think IU probably actually likes to play overpass because it feels like every series they have to actually play it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, Chris still not in the varsity chat. So, I mean, were they talking about that being a concern earlier? I not no. Okay. I th I I think they realized it now though. But I mean, worst comes to worst, they have subs. They would just need to contact an admin. But I mean, I think uh, I think everyone who's a Counter Strike fan, and even some non Counter Strike fans, are looking forward to Source Two. So, a lot I of think people, it's, a lot of people who haven't played CS are playing just CS because of just yeah. the idea of it coming back. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 funny. Okay, we're gonna see some Michigan bands here. So IEPI actually, I think, picked long before their time was up that time. Yeah, Chris is okay. Chris is here, so we should get. You should be. We should be get going like, very, very quickly here. Um, we'll. I mean, what are, what are we're expecting like a Nuke or Anubis ban here from Michigan or an Ancient? One of those three maps. Yeah, if Mich if IPI didn't pick Ancient, there's Anubis. So Nuke's getting banned here. We should the time, see Nuke. unless it got picked. Yeah. Well, you are one ban away from being perfect, Jack XTDD. At least with the three maps, maybe not in the order, but. Wow. Okay. So they picked Mirage. Okay, so they picked Mirage. And then Do you see I map three? I... Yeah. I feel like prefer Nuke over Overpass, huh? Is that just, do you think that's like looking at Michigan's past games and noticing there's no Nuke there and just being comfortable on the map? N uh, Michigan has played Nuke. Okay, okay. So it is, a, it is actually just preferring nuke. So it's just a nuke, preferring nuke. Yeah, so, Crazy. I, so, so, Mirage, so they did pick Mirage, so I guess they didn't deep dive enough to realize that they didn't need to pick Mirage there and could have picked Overpass. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, they left it open. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good point. I, I think that's... Unless Michigan, like, has since had some change of hearts towards their Overpass or just thinks IEPIs is going to be better, that is definitely a questionable ban. Mm-hmm. Or a questionable pick, I should say. I'm going to send you the IP now. This is raw. I'm on Hunden Cam again.
So with Mirage being map one here, we'll see IUPUI likely start on the CT side. Um, I'm excited to see the Ancient from... Honestly, just from the perspective of I don't think I've watched a single collegiate game be played on Ancient. From IUPUI, especially. So it'd be fun to watch. I also think Ancient is a... Uh, is a pretty easy map to get a lot of uh, momentum on, really, either way. So you could see maybe Michigan. I mean, I, speaking of favorites going in, I think IEPY is a maybe not a clear favorite, but is definitely a favorite. This is the five that made fourth place at last year's uh, league. Or sorry, this is the four that made fifth place last year. Um, minus Yeti plus EXT. Or sorry, minus Tristan plus EXT. So... With that being said, I think they're definitely a favorite. Now, with face it ranks, if he just took face it ranks, he'd favor Michigan here. So, to say that Michigan doesn't have a chance, I think, is uh, selling Michigan short for sure. But I just, I just have seen so little of IEPY's collegiate team play ancient that I like. I just don't know what to expect. Andy does hate overpass, but it's mainly because of the role he plays, I think. I think if, like, if if anyone, like, if anyone showed Andy how to play a different role, he'd probably, like, warm up to the map a bit, a bit more. But he plays probably the worst role for his skill set, in my opinion. He also plays a role that he, like, uh, greatly oversimplifies, I think. A little bit. A little bit for sure. Sometimes uh, you might consider his playstyle to be a mind destroyer. Mmm. So he did that. Because it destroys my mind having to watch it. Get the Hades music here from Map One. Now, I mean, here's a here's a real question. That won't. That is just a hypothetical because it won't happen. If Source Two came out right now, would I stop streaming? <laughs> I'd, I'd really have to think about that. It has to come. I'd probably like in every freeze time, I'd probably like alt tab and just like start bringing up like, I'd turn off the IUPI transition to save time and I'd just start bringing up all the source two changes. It would really become a uh, summit style broadcast. <laughs> Let's go. 9.15. I've seen worse start times, like an hour and a half later. True. Yeah, Weesh with a jet updraft profile picture. I definitely remember that from Pugs. My friend didn't actually need to be played out like it did, but I will reserve my uh, frustration on that because it doesn't matter. 
All right, so I think generally the last time we saw this team play Mirage, it wasn't with this five. Uh, my expectation is we'll see some sort of combination of Gumboot, CMX, and a Big Daddy A cover middle, but we could see Big Daddy A reserved to a B site play. Looks like we're going to see an A execute come out from Michigan to start. We've got two smokes, two flashes. I think usually what you do with this is try to stick CC uh, with the right side wall smokes, but IEPY well prepared for this right now. Three man stack on this B bomb site flashes in. So are the T CMX close sandwich. He's going to get half cleared, not full cleared, and he'll make good on that. Gets one, gets two, goes down afterwards, but EXT quick to trade one kill back. Isn't able to double up. Stray lock from CT gets nothing as well. And now Big Daddy and Gumboot in a two versus two. Flash comes in, not quick enough, but there is a little bit of a struggle from the CTs to line up these kills. Big Daddy will actually assist on Gumboot's death. Michigan's going to win that round. Full house from Snarf and no walk. Yeah, it was a 5v2, essentially. 5v3. Yeah, um, yeah. CMX got the first two, and EXT ex traded one, but Straylock like didn't get any there, and that was kind of... I, I guess that was really what allowed them to just get the site like that, and then, yeah. Big Daddy and Gumbu shooting each other. What is this smoke from Snarf? I don't... It's probably some sort of um, connector-based smoke. Oh, it's actually a, uh, it's, it's, it's the top cat lurk smoke. IEPY just completely fought mid here and actually started the round by getting two kills. Iwis on 45 HP is struggling to keep his life. Now we're calling in for backup from top mid. This is a much more dangerous round than I think Michigan expected it to be. Crisscross able to find Straylock. Iwis dancing behind these mid box smokes as his team mows down the rest. Crisscross actually able to get a 4k there on the re-entry into mid, but... Michigan definitely caught off guard. It looked like it was supposed to be a um, kind of NIP-esque mid-smoke play where you're smoking um, like the valley and you're smoking catwalk and you're just kind of trying to get up B fast. But mm -hmm. not only did the catwalk smoke land super late, but IEPY was just very well prepared to take those fights. So, yep. Moving on All to the first gun. Yeah. Pretty go for IEPY. Michigan's not going to give up on these mid defaults. I don't think they're going to be running the same play. Yep, window smoke going to be coming in instead of a cat smoke. So, standard mid take. CMX is already up quite far. Catwalk already in the ladder room. T's seem to be aware of this possibility. Looking that way. Connector is also occupied for the CTs and Big Daddy A. CMX not going to come off the ladder. Gumboot challenge for crisscross insta headshot. He actually doubles up on a Big Daddy A and connector. That's a great double for him to find it now. Straylock getting pinched on the bomb site. Going to be swung Palace. Lucky to be alive for now, but finally will go down with a smoke in his hand. And Michigan off to a very strong start in their map pick. It, this crisscross opening up both mid and connector, which leads to an open A bomb site following Straylock's trade. Sandwich, that's a nice wall bang from CMX, but it's not going to be enough to stop the bomb plant. And with that, you've got to consider the save if you are on the IUPUI side of things. Yeah. So far, it looks like it's going to be a save. Yeah, just getting up mid, scaling, classic Mirage stuff. Yeah, I mean, you really rarely open up mid as wide and as fast as Criss Cross is able to do there. Kumbu gets caught off on a kind of traditional, uh, we'll say, underpass off angle. And immediately, Criss Cross takes that kill. Big Daddy H trying to trade, but will get pretty much instantly headshot as well from Big Galil, so... Impressive stuff from the Michigan side there, for sure. So, Michigan up 3 to 0, IUPUI on a save. Two guns saved, we'll see what they decide to put them. Yeah. Probably towards A or mid. Or both B. CMX, no, he, he's going to contest mid here. His molly was actually not put out by any kind of T side smoke, so that might give IEPI the inkling that this AX is coming, but CMX isn't rotating there yet. He wants to get some information mid beforehand. EXT is still just playing a standard B anchor position. But the execute now just starting to come in for the T's. Smokes, flashes will follow, and the T's will follow next. We get a forced under. Gumboot instantly eliminated from Chris. 
across again. We'll find a double kill for his team. He has been excellent on this Mirage map thus far. And the two guns that were saved are now in a very similar situation that they were last round. Although in a better position. The XT finds a gap in that smoke and we'll take out the bomb planer. Oh, whips out a grenade, but not coverage enough. No walk close to Gabooth. Finds that kill and now CMX finds himself in an interesting position. Only on 12 HP, this is a 1 versus 2 that's winnable on higher HP, but with just 12, you've got to wonder if this is too much. He knocks No Walk down to a similar situation as he is in himself. CMX, he does have a kit, but without a smoke, this becomes difficult, and CMX is just not aware that No Walk has walked away from Ticket, or sorry, from Triple, so he's just going to save. Yeah. And just a classic AX key for Michigan. Uh, almost got a little scary there if EXT maybe keeps his gun out and expects a trade swing. But um, nevertheless, Michigan off to an early 4-0 start, looking really confident on the C or T side. All right, IPA back onto guns. Gumbo gonna be buying up AWP here. We'll see if that's a difference. There wasn't a mid-window smoke thrown at all in the previous round. So we'll see if that stays. Gumbo, I think was going for the cat smoke, uh, the cat jump there and missed it. So he's just gonna be forced to try to crawl up the connector, but it's mollied. He gets the first kill, but he's taking a lot of Molotov damage. He's forced to swing back out. Flash is not going to catch him. CMX coverage from window. There's no one flanking underpass, so he'll be good on that front. Luiz posted, waiting. More gumboots. Aggression. Gumboot always oh, saved by CMX. An excellent round from him thus far on a double kill. It really saved both. With both kills, saved Gumboot. IEPI now content to fall off this mid area and just play the bomb site. Crossfires they can establish with only two T's. Even, even with mid control, it's going to be very hard to split onto bomb sites in an effective way. Michigan's 4 0 start in heavy jeopardy here. Certainly would have considerations to save in such an unwinnable round, but. With Criss Cross still alive, he's been so good, and he is continuing to be good on the nine kills now in just five rounds played. Opens up Connector, but with 30 seconds, they're going to need to make a very quick play into a bomb site to have a chance to win. Straight luck up on Ticket Booth. That's a nice off angle as a player approaches the bomb site. Gumboot with the off in jungle is going to take out Criss Cross. It is traded, but will be traded back by Straight Lock. So IUPUI onto the board, their first CT round of the game, one to four. Yep. Got boot on the op. Once the op comes out, immediate impact with double kill that round and their first round win. So, um, IP Wagon elected double op this round. And Luigi on 10k, but everyone else pouring is on Michigan. The money is weird. They're still gonna buy though. Luigi is about to drop an entire army. IP Wagon picks up their first round. No walk quickly into this catwalk smoke. This looks like it might be that fast kind of cat play that we saw attempted earlier, but Big Daddy A completely shutting down the fast connector crawl. CMX gonna do the same on the catwalk. So three versus three now as CMX is traded back. Crisscross again, finding his impact on the round. Shooting Gumboot through the wood almost takes him out, only 23 HP on the IDB IUPUI opera. You know, it looks like this B site will finally be tested. EXT, the B anchor has yet to see real contact on his bomb site, finding most of it in rotations. This is where he will be tested the first time. Three Michigan players all gripping up in apartments. EXT on the apartment's balcony. This is a position that, if cleared, is very easy to find kills with. Now EXT, he's actually going to swing out of the timing. He gets one, but isn't able to spray transfer onto a second. It's going to give Michigan the bomb plants and the right to reposition a bit. Rotation is not coming in for IEPO. That's smoke 
on the door. Might force these oppers through a tough angle, but Gumboot actually is able to find Snarf, and now it's just crisscross. He's definitely the guy you want clutching for the Michigan side. But will it be enough against two WPs plus plenty of Uto and Kits? This is not going to be easy clutch. And Straylock with a 5-7 is going to make that a quick one. Insta HS onto the apartments player. Team Ace for IPY. Um, everyone got theirs. Equals the round of win. A little scary there for the uh, double op retake, but cool calm collected for IPY as they find their second on the board now. Interestingly, IEPI actually drops the double op there and just opts into uh, opts into an AK rather than saving the second op. Gumbu gonna catch a Weege peeking a bit early on that smoke, but this fast cat play will not be stopped just from that. However, that smoke is not deep enough to stop Gumbu from finding this. Arcanic, I think, realizes that is gonna deploy yet another smoke to get up catwalk, where CMX is waiting. He's gonna find one. Big Daddy A finds no walk on catwalk, and now it's just the two apartments Player is going to be funneling out CMX and EXT likely to deal with this pretty easily. Snarf with the Tech 9 and a Dream. But will likely get snuffed out here the second any amount of rotation comes in. EXT going to clean that up. So, IEPY very quickly narrowing the gap that Michigan created for themselves to start this game. Yep. IEPY starting to find their footing after a rough start. Our Kranich is on 06 right now. That's uh, a definite outlier from the rest of the server. Indeed. He just like me, for real. How about missing the cat jump again, but not punished really at all there. I don't think we've seen a two underpass crawl default, but I'm actually going to back out of it. No, I th Michigan definitely didn't really have all that much of a uh, plan coming into this round, just just to kind of default, see what their opponent's going to give them, and go from there. We've seen crisscross in this underpass position completely change around within you know like two seconds, so not not surprising to see them let him cook, if you will. IEPY kind of ironically also not fighting for mid control in the early stages of this round. And now Michigan is pretty much just going to waltz into it and open mid. And with both connector and window smoked, IEPI is going to be completely cut off of information into this area. And that's why you see CMX on this B-bomb site, so hesitant to expose himself to catwalk and apartments at the same time. Smoke's now fading. Decisions being made on the T side. Crisscross getting up to catwalk as well as two players behind him. The Molotov is not going to stop Crisscross. He's going to come up on the site. Fighting CMX will get the headshot. Now EXT bench head down trying to create some lurk space for himself. Sherlock going to cut off a rotation. Crisscross still entering this B-bomb site. How is he still alive? EXT not able to shut him down either. The crosshair placement from Crisscross is fantastic. And Big JD is going to get traded after finding... A kill for himself. Snarf doubles up through the wall and a smoke. Straylock. He already has two kills in this round, but needs to find two more to win this round. Crisscross only on one HP. That could be found using Straylock's HE. Iwi's trying to create space for his teammate. Knows it has to be him to win this fight, most likely. Straylock. Got to throw a nade back van. That will catch out Iwi's, but Straylock looks away from the angle. It's going to get smoked. Crisscross on one HP will go down. And now Straylock, he knows where both players are. The other... Use their smoke on the van. Sherlock lurking out to the left. He's going to find a wee. He's head turned and wins. The one versus two clutch for a 4K in the round. A, an amazing round from Sherlock. Yeah. Uh, truly. <clears throat> great, great take there from Sherlock. And honestly, around the IPI, it should not have been that close. Chris Cross finding as much impact as he did with the HP he had. Um, kind of a little bit scary because IPI had three on that B bomb site. They had the right read and just. All right, Jackie Sadity, you have been promoted to play-by-play -play caster for this round. I need to check something. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Michigan was able to get the bomb plant, so they are going to have a pretty decent buy. Only one uh, with limited util, and by limited, I mean none is a Weege. Um, once again, Michigan going for a heavy B-side default. Uh, two holding for the mid-push, as well as two underpass. And uh, the classic uh, Lurk Palace, absolute Wonderful. cringe. 
this map is cringe. Louise hears the drop of Shraylock on default and makes that call in game. So now I know that they know that Shraylock is indeed near default. Shraylock gonna walk up here though. Almost caught a timing with Luigi. As he looks to make a play here, Shaylock spots him as there's an awkward fight over at the palace. Um, Uwee's winning that fight by 19 HP. As uh, the rest of his team takes mid. In the meantime, Starf though is going to be taken out from CMX. Once again, making a lurk play. This map is still cringe because of these double lurks. That's a classic Mirage thing. Anyways, um, no bias though towards the map and hating it. Big Daddy A is going to be window. Sees nothing because he is smoked off. He knows one's in ladder though. Making that combo. Shaylock, meanwhile, finds one con. No walk though, picks up gun boot by con him and a ramp. They know where two of the players are. This lurk though from crisscross could be huge. Only finds one though, no trigger discipline. CMX with the quick trade. And now we have a 3v2. Michigan flashing in the CT to try to take CT control. Arcanic looking to find his first kill of the game. EXT, will he give it to him? Double flash. He finds his first kill. No walk though. In the meantime, goes down. He whiffs a flash. Arcadic struggling this game, and the nade's gonna take Ooh. him out. Yeah. CMX well, is gonna find the defuse. Yeah. 4k on the run for him. IUPUI takes the lead now. Their first lead of the game is now five to four. I, I thought I, I'm definitely having upload issues. I thought it was maybe some other use, but I, I couldn't find a use. I think. Uh... I think uh, Spectrum is just griefing me, so unfortunate for so now. What does that mean? I might try to fix the bit rate. It means the stream is like like 10 FPS. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But it is what it is. It's Spectrum. There's nothing I can do about it. Am I still going? I, I can close the bit right now. I, I've, I've cleared it now. We should be fine to continue. Um, that being said, it feels like... No matter how many rounds Michigan has lost in a row here, they've gotten bomb planted out of these past two, so they continue to force buy. On the IUPUI side, there are, you know, four players that are one round loss away from having to save. So, really at any point here, a Michigan T-side round win could spell some economic doom for the IUPUI side. Going to be a quick A split here in the works, it seems. There is a quick CT rotate from Gumboots Op to help out this exact same scenario. So here comes the jungle smoke. Flash gonna come in following. Molotov is not gonna be enough to stop Crisscross. Any going through the smoke will get quickly traded from under Palace. Straylock able to double up as well. So now it's just Gumboot is able to not actually. He flicks off of his opponent there. Arcranic gets three kills in this round, really redeeming himself from the previous. Gonna go down though. Two versus two. CMX and EXT. There isn't a smoke on EXT and a kid on CMX. So. Plenty of utility to make this retake happen. Very good pulse plants, though, from the T side, respective to this bomb location. It's going to be on EXT to deploy this smoke grenade in an effective way. Smoke goes onto the bomb. Should be enough to give cover to a defusing counter terrorist. There is not much time in this round, though. CMX is going to have to get that kill and immediately stick this bomb defuse. Is this going to be onto No Walk to find him in the smoke? He's spraying the wrong location. He's spraying the wrong location. CMX is going to win this round. EXT's smoke was deployed in a way that made it very ambiguous as to where the CT was diffusing, and it works out. CMX able to win that round and a ninja defuse. I want one for a mutton. Oh, and he shouts out mutton. Yeah, 10 FPS, Mr. Mutton. Yeah, no. <clears throat> Simple A slit there from Michigan. Uh... IPO, I found the early trades, but then Gumboot missing oh, a flick shot. Is a rush. Right. Yeah, best day. Only jungle smoke though. I think CT I just now coming in. Uh, it might just be CT. Oh, just CT. It's yeah. just CT. So there's gonna be plenty of help from the outside bomb sites. Yeah, and Gumboot, he's gonna get two from jungle. Big Daddy. Literally, the site player in Straylock, the one they tried to smoke off with CT, has not gotten a single kill. It's the lack of coverage from jungle that it completely stops this Michigan execute. They. Tried to go fast A. I don't know. Maybe they had a read that they thought that mid commits were coming in from the CT side. That the fast rotates from jungle and you know stairs just wouldn't be there. But the exact opposite is true. That is shut down fast. And without a bomb plant, this Michigan buy is looking quite abysmal. Quite abysmal indeed.
next time around becomes quite obvious. I'm going to try and turn down the bitrate, see if that helps us all. In terms of FPS, it'll, it'll low the quality, but the bitrate, uh, the FPS should improve a bit, hopefully. Blame Spectrum. Snarf. Solo work playing apps. Actually, we'll get a kill this time on a CMX. CMX is not going to be happy about that, but EXC will trade it. side really not able to capitalize off of that entry and instead i think we're going to opt into another a split we saw this exact same scenario play out two rounds ago big daddy a opting not to go through his own smoke this time and it looks to be the right decision trade lock going to be able to find one getting shot down quite a bit through these boxes and, and will eventually go down so a bomb plant feels inevitable here no walk will go down though our Krennic with the awp able to find or not even sorry with a galil don't move fell so fast, I thought it was with an op. And we, he is just pushing into CT spawn here, fighting with Arcranic. Arcranic is able to find the trade. Now into a one versus one. Need to 3k to win this round for his team EXT. Looking for the double kill on the angle. Is going to reveal his location. Arcranic going to be pre-aiming this exact angle here in a second. EXT falls off. Creates some doubt about where he may have moved. Jumps up onto stairs that should have been heard. Arcranic going to smoke to his left, give himself some space to move. Flashbang, he's actually going to work through the smoke. EXT seems aware of the possibility, but isn't going to check forward. Arcranic, after starting 0-6, is up to 8-10, and 10, and has had some impactful rounds for his team. Very impactful round there. Uh, Michigan decides to <coughs> pivot into a quick A split after losing their Lurk B, and uh, yeah, uh, Arcranic just plays the 1v1 better in that situation. Uh, maybe EXT should have been a little more I don't know, aggressive in his angle take. Gave him way too much space and respect. Allowed him to make the play. But Yeah, I mean very, very good utility use there from Arcranic, given the space and, and uses it well. Once again, holding mid Michigan plays a very interesting default where they double apps and then double hold for the mid push. Yeah, round. yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, this kind of default is kind of like the show your opponent the ultimate respect kind of default. EXT up on the off angle and will be able to find Snarf. It felt like Snarf was kind of half cling for that, uh, but EXT going to take advantage of the slow reactions there. Finds the opening kill for his team. Snarf is, I, I'd say, probably about like one-third successful on these B entries thus far. Um, IPI definitely benefiting from the aggressiveness Snarf has shown because it has given them a lot of opening kills. No Palace Lurk from Michigan this round yet. Going to see a Weege rotate around towards mid, it looks like. It's going to be a B play here for Michigan. Even after the early Lurk fails. No walk on a swing. Oh my goodness. CMX completely obliterated on that cat hold. Not ready for that. Akrena going to Lurk up. Onto Cat goes down for Big Daddy A. EXT going to find one. Not able to double up in that scenario, but crisscross. Finds his own double. Gumbo going to trade that. Setups from IEPUI on these site takes have been strong enough to at least find, you know, one or two on these entries before Michigan's able to get a bomb down. It's been good enough to either retake or win the round before the bomb plant on this run they've had of CT rounds. Yep. Michigan really feeling the pain of not having a bomb plant that round and getting economically reset. This is the first time I think we've truly seen a save from Michigan all game and they're going to immediately pivot that save into a b rush cmx is going to hear these players running but he is throwing flashbangs for mid it quickly now has to react to the possibility of players flying out van and window and they are out van indeed ext on the back of bombsite will find one but quickly traded by the tech nine of our cranic cmx not able to find one yet crisscross actually wins that fight gumbo with the awp has found two players from the market rotation looking for more there is a kind of a stranded bomb on bench not able to get the bomb down without fighting Gumboot's AWP. That made a lot of pressure on our Kranik here to find anything for his team. He's the only one with a gun. His teammate on a Glock. And Gumboot, he has tripled up in this round with the AWP. Great round for him. CMX's Famas has been retrieved, but that is not going to be enough for Michigan to win. So, despite pretty solid entries for Michigan, the strandedness of the bomb really hurt them. Yep. Uh, initial success. Initial on the initial push, but Savant got stuck in... The op got into uh, 
in the B is pretty much <laughs> for that round. My, my dropped frames rate on OBS is 56.8%, dude. Half the more than half the frames I send to Twitch, they are not they are not appearing are on not the screen. Getting... Dang, man. I, I thought I was in the clear on Spectrum upload issues. I guess not. It's no, it's never enough to pay for something, right? You gotta make sure they actually give it to you. It's unfortunate. So, five versus five onto a gun run again to close out this half. Michigan showing a, a bit more pace in this mid crawl than they have been in the past. It's gonna be a quick top con smoke. No walk through the smoke. We'll find Big Daddy A. CMX, usually a cat player, is actually on con this round, and he is going to be a surprise for these Michigan players who are going through this connector smoke. Gumboot able to find one on ramp before Chris Cross takes out CMX, but Gumboot, he's had a very solid close to this half on a 14 and 9 to close it, and IEPY, despite starting out 0 4, had won 10 of the last 11 to close out the half with a 10 5 lead. Yep. Definitely able to bounce back after a shaky start. Cleaned it up, and now going into the T side of Mirage. Very favored. Straight like buying you till. Will we see a strat known across the IEPY landscape? No, nope. this is looking like a B rush. B rush. Keep it classy. Yeah. Uh, Michigan not doing anything too special here with their pistol default. It's it's quite you know. It's quite a default setup, so I feel I should have an upper hand here on this B-Rush if they can find even just one entry. Akranik playing a very passive position of van. Oh, he... Oh, Mid-air Glock headshot from CMX, and the rest of the B-side is falling apart. No walk, the last remaining player on this rotation. Crisscross, though, on market. Doesn't want to give this round away that easily, and no walk from Kat is found, too. So now Big Daddy A on half HP has to clutch this round out. He will find a headshot on a no walk, but it's not enough. No walk, a 3K on a Cat rotation. That's... That is unthinkable. Just like the first pistol, it was a uh, 5v3 until Michigan started getting kills uh, for IPY. Um, yeah. I don't know how Chris finds the first, EXT finds two, and but they just lose the post plant. Um, I mean, the shots no walk hit there must have been really, really solid. I, I, was, I was panning through about everyone but no walk, and he just kills everyone. So, IEPI, because they got the bomb down, are going to opt into a decent buy here. Not a great one for sure. Just a bit of util. And that mid window smoke getting spammed. But it will allow the yeah, IEPI to get up mid and Snarf. He's going to go down to EXT. That was a bit of an overpeak with a grenade in his hand. Snarf goes down. Crisscross, though, going to find the trade back. And No Walk will trade Gumboot after Gumboot finds a leash. So, three versus three. Very puggy early round here. No walk going to find a double for himself now. Finding Straylock trying to make a play quickly into connection with a Mac 10. Bomb stranded. No walk going to try to hold it. Finds the CMX back turn, but not a lot of bullets. Is able to B hop out of danger. Big Daddy A gonna find him, but will get traded very quickly. So now CMX and one versus two. That is a ridiculously fast MP9 headshot. I think that might have been midair as well. He was jumping. He was jumping. Yeah, yeah that was in there. <clears throat> and that is um, that's a tough round for IUPUI to lose, especially without a bomb plant because of their force. Yep. So we'll see a save here um, for IUPUI, and then next round will be very important gun round. Uh, if they're not able to win this eco round, which with one smoke. Yeah, like seems unlikely. Mid to con play through the smoke. Yeah, I mean, Oweez is still in connector, just now bailing out, but the Molotov is not going to stop Big Daddy A, who finds an opening, but that is a lot of damage it has done, which should make a lot of these kills easy for the CTs defending this bomb site, and it's looking like an absolute blender at the outside of connector here. CMX making a bit of a lurk play snarf, no headphones. CMX only able to find that one, though. So, Michigan. Put themselves in a pretty good spot here to start this half. Three rounds in a row, only down two. And if you're going to make a comeback on your own map pick, the CT side of Mirage is the size to do it. So, yeah. First gun round. We'll see if Blake 
Gumboot elects to go gob, he will not. So, I mean, Louise, on the other hand, did just get an op drop to him. So, CT op on the board, no T op. Though. His best spawn as well. So, oh, he wanted to throw that Molotov and he had to wait for his teammates to shoot out the window for him. Meanwhile, uh, no mid window smoke thrown at all from the IPI side. I think he's missed this Molotov as well. Regardless, going to peak mid here, that lurks smoke. The mall is actually missed from Gumboot. <sighs> wow, and the flash is not good enough either. Meanwhile, Snarf goes down on the B side anchor. That Molly is a bit late, gonna be smoked anyway. Big Daddy flying out van, two HP. Still making space for his team. Gonna Molly door. That nade is so good from Louise. Already on a double this round. It's looking like another CT round win. Especially now that CMX has fallen. EXT in a one versus three. Gonna be hard to isolate angles, especially with the bomb van. Louise holding most of the crossfire angles there. Our crane gonna lurk up. EXT able to find the first. Player lurking up on cat though. It's not gonna make things easy. It's Molotov gonna reveal his position. Spotted out, no walk on catwalk. Not able to find that kill. The left eye peak disadvantage plus being so close makes that an almost impossible fight. Michigan. Only one round away, and now IEPY probably going to half buy. Yep. After that, Michigan likely in... Oh, well, CMX just full bot. Um, Michigan, though, still in a good position to tie this game up. And are, once again, starting out strong on uh, their side. Jack, excited, you're not going to believe this. Why? I'm experiencing no upload packet loss. Oh, it is exclusively geez. my upload speed. That is getting griefed by Spectrum right now. This is so sad. Maybe, it, what if it was just YouTube all along? That'd be funny. Um, the problem is if I if I turn off the stream to mess with my bitrate, now that we're on an eco-round, I can talk about this. If I, if I turn off my stream to mess with my bitrate, uh, it'll it'll ruin the uh, the, the VOD. It was two kills. This is that off shot, and he'll probably won't get any gr more greedy than that. So it's looking like it's going to be a tie game. So, IPI not going to be as easy as it may have seemed going up 10 to 5 at the half. Sure, not going to find a toe shot there onto a Weege, but going to need a lot more if the Jaguars want to win this round. Gumboot will spot out the player default, gets gooshed up in the process, and that nade might be all she wrote. And it will indeed be EXT and a 1 versus 4. Yet again, and uh, he is getting run down. Our Kranich in this MP9 is, this has been a story really. He's been running around and getting multi-kills with it, multiple rounds down the CT side. Michigan starting to look really comfortable, building up a pretty solid bank outside of the Weege for the CT side. IPY, Gotta figure something else. I don't know what happened last round, but I think CMX like kill bot or something because now he's no head armor, AK, no you still. Yeah, yeah, oh. it might have just been a miscom. Uh, I think Chris had like 4200, which looks like a force buy if you don't check your teammates, but everyone else was on like 3500. So. He only had 3900 when oh. he bought last round. Well, Gumboot finds a pick on a no walk. That's a AWP diff showing there. CMX, no utility, wants to force as much map control as he can without it, and is literally kissing opponent utility right now. Gumboot's off, going to be taken out by a Weege and Jungle. And now the IEPYT side need to figure out what they want to do with the remaining utility. Big Daddy A just on a smoke grenade, and he's going to deploy it to CT spawn. This is not going to block off the op in a Weege that's been so strong these last few rounds. Going to be a key fight. Going to be maybe a key Molotov or a flashbang required to nullify this effect. EXT swinging out lower. Going to be collected. Weege repeeking. Collects again onto Straylock. Repeeks again. Collects onto CMX. Just one to find now, and he won't even need it. Our Krennic finds it for him. Michigan on a six round win streak.
just wonder. I'm gonna try.